there are websites dedicated to bad Santa photos. If you browse through the different pictures, you can't help but to laugh. But at the time the pictures were taken, I'm sure most parents weren't happy that their child was crying next to Santa. They wanted their child to be smiling and looking angelic. Who wouldn't want a perfect picture? But these bad photos are like a rite of passage. It's going to happen, so all you can do is be prepared. With most little ones, the itty bitty babies, it's not a problem with them. It becomes quite mm, uncertain between the ages of two through five, and there's lots of things that parents can do to prepare their children for a Santa visit. The biggest thing of all is familiarity is the key to a good Santa visit. Quite often what parents forget is that their role as a parent is to teach their children morals and values and guidelines for their safety and their well-being. And we quite often teach them, don't go to strangers, don't talk to strangers, and don't take candy from strangers. And so when they come to Santa, we're going against everything that the child's been taught. We're saying, go to the guy in the red suit, he's a stranger, go and talk to him and take candy from him. And so, of course, the child's going to be a little bit confused. Big smile. Come on, a big smile. Carissa also suggests that you can familiarize your child with Santa Claus through books and DVDs. And if you're in line to see Santa and there are older kids in front of you, have your child watch and learn from the older children's interaction with Santa Claus. And other tips from the pro? If you think that your little one is quite uncertain and you're not sure how it's going to go, let the girls know right off the hop, the staff members, we've got lots of tricks that we can try and different things. And please never feel rushed. Um, you know, some of the best things that you can do are to come when it's not busy. So obviously during the Christmas season, a Saturday afternoon is crazy in the mall. That's just an automatic thing. Uh, so maybe try coming during the week. Um, you know, during the day is best, but evenings are good as well. And obviously earlier in the season is better than later. You don't want to feel pressured or rushed and just makes it really relaxed for the child. Make sure that they come and they're well rested and that they have full bellies. So make sure that they've had a nap or they've had a good night's rest, that they've had breakfast or a snack. So that will help a happy child automatically well translate to the booth as well. So I decided to see if some of the parents came prepared. We just made sure that he had a bottle, like he was full. He's always happy, so it's really not anything to worry about. He, may, he doesn't make strange with anybody, so I think it'll be okay, even if he wasn't full. <laughs> oh, we just got up and got dressed. We actually uh, came from Hawaii a couple weeks ago and we bought these dresses specifically for Christmas, so I kind of wanted my girls to look like princesses. With their princess dresses on, these girls were not only prepared, they looked good. In the end, there were no crying babies in this line, just children happy to see Santa and ready for their first picture with the big man in the red suit. For Shaw TV, I'm Tasha Chu.